Hey y'all, so I'm going to start off by jumping right in. I'm doing a full set and I'm going to start doing my natural nail prep first. So I sprayed her hand with some alcohol and now I'm coming in with my cuticle pusher and I'm just pushing back her eponychium trying to expose as much of that nail plate as I can. So once I have that done, I'm gonna come in with my cuticle bit. And here lately, I feel like it's been faster for me just to use my bit in reverse. So I'll start from one side of the nail and just go all the way around. And I find that that has been more efficient and it still gets the job done. So once I have that done, I'm gonna come in with my sanding band and just etch her nail plate. I'm not trying to even anything out. I'm just trying to remove shine and then get any leftover cuticle that is still attached to the nail plate. So once all my prep is done, I went in and applied her tips. These are C-curve tips. They're not any special type of brand. I just got them off of Amazon. And I didn't do a lot of shaping to them. I just made sure that by her natural sidewalls that it was all shaped correctly there. Then I went in and dehydrated and primed twice. Now I'm coming in with a nude color and I'm just going to do that whole nail this solid nude. Now this one is a self mix. I have been using self mixes pretty much on all of my sets here lately. I mixed up a whole bunch of my nudes so that's why I have such an abundance amount of it and I'm going to use it okay. I just recently bought some Mia Secret nudes and I remember back in the Gap I used to use them and I had one that I really really liked but I could not remember which one it was so I just bought like the variety little kit which comes with a whole bunch of different nudes and I'm gonna try them out to try to find that one that I like and, and pretty much just start stocking up on that. But back to this nail, I'm applying that nude. I applied my first bead, a medium sized bead, walked it down that tip, and I just made sure to keep the sides clean and to make it as smooth as I can. Now I'm coming in with my second bead and I'm just pointing her finger down. I'm placing that bead right there at the tip where her natural nail meets the tip to be exact. And then I'm just going to kind of push that product in walk it down a little bit and then blend it into my first bead. So now I'm coming in with my third bead and I'm going to place that right on top of that second bead. This one is just going to furthermore give me strength for my apex and I'm going to do the same thing, tuck it in, blend out the back of the bead and then once I have that done, I'm just going to tap it and walk it down and then I'm going to blend it through. And then my final bead is going to be my cuticle bead. I'm going to place that away from the cuticle and then push the bead up into that space. I don't want to end up flooding this, so I just gently tap, push it up into the cuticle area, and then just blend that bead down. Next for the pinky and the pointer finger, I'm going to be doing an ombre. So the first thing I'm going to do is lay down a thin layer of clear. So for my ombre, I'm going to start off at the tip and I'm gonna come in with a medium sized bead, really not so big because I know that I'm going to end up having to encapsulate this. So I want my design to be thin. I do not wanna make this nail thick at all. So I'm placing that bead at the center of the nail and then I'm just going to walk it down, make sure that all the sides, everything's smooth. And a lot of what I'm saying is very repetitive, but it needs to be because I want you to get into the habit of doing the same thing over and over again. That's going to just make you work more efficiently. And also it's going to be to where your nails look just like one clean full set. I don't know how many times I have said that if you do the same technique on all of your nails, your whole set is going to look good you know what I'm saying I've seen sets and I've done sets to where one might be real thick and then the others are very thin or one's shaped 
kind of funny because it was too thick and you couldn't get it shaped right. So that's why I always emphasize that you need to get a routine and stick to it. And that's just going to help you overall. So now I'm going to complete this ombre. I'm gonna come in with my nude color and I'm just going to walk this down and then blend. Now though, as I say that, I kind of messed up because I'm going to be doing a design on top. And if I would have thought about that, I wouldn't have brought that nude color down so much. Now, my personal preference for ombres, I like to have the nude come down a lot further. So that's why I just did it like this. But you have to keep in mind what you're doing. So next time, if I'm going to do a design, I'll keep that in mind. So now I'm coming in with my third bead and I'm using a very small bead and I'm going to apply that at my apex area, work it from sidewall to sidewall and then blend it through. Once I have that done, I'm gonna come in with my cuticle bead and blend that one through. Now I'm keeping in mind that I pretty much have the back of this nail built up how I want it. So when I come in with my clear, I'm really going to just focus on covering up my fade. I wanna make sure that I have that protected so when I come in and file, I'm not gonna file any of that away. And also while I'm doing that, I just wanna make sure that I'm not adding too much bulk at the back of that nail when it comes to that clear. So you wanna be careful about that. So on the rest of these nails, like I told y'all, the pointer finger is also an ombre, and then the rest of them is just the solid nude. So we're gonna move right on to filing. I'm going to start by taking my hand file, and I'm just going to file these into shape. We're going for tapered square, and I'm gonna show you guys a little bit, but it's so hard to get shaping as far as filming because the position just isn't right but i'm gonna start with my hand file and then once i finish with that and then i'm gonna come in with the, my sanding band and smooth out the surface of the nail and then also flush out the cuticle area with that sanding band so I always like to show the nails after they have been freshly filed. I feel like you can really see the definition when it's just freshly done, but I love it. So now moving on to design. And like I said, I'm going to be doing some art on top of this. I'm pretty much going to be doing some crocodile print. So I'm going to start off by just creating my outline first. I'm gonna be doing that pretty much on most of these nails. So for the ring finger, I'm going to be doing a French. So I'm gonna start by taking my striping brush and just starting on the sides of that nail and then just working my way in and then creating my little outline. Once I do that, I'm gonna move on to the other nail and create my outline. And then once I have all of my outlines done, I'll go back in and fill them in. And as I'm filling this in, this is when I realized my ombre came down just a little bit too close to that tip. So even when I came in and I did my outline with my gel, I should have brought that outline up even more. So on the opposite hand, I do fix that. I make my outline um, to where you can also see the ombre underneath. So to start my crocodile print, I have everything outlined. Now I'm gonna come in with my top coat and top coat all of these nails and cure them for a full two minutes. So I'm coming back and adding some glitter to those outline swirls. If I was thinking I would have done this before I top coated these, okay, it would have been a whole lot easier. So I'm just going to follow the outline and then I'm going to top coat these one more time. So 
So for the crocodile print, I'm going to take that same polish and with my striping brush, I'm just going to kind of, you know, create those little lines. I'm going to start on the right side and I'm pretty much just going to go up. This doesn't have to be any particular order. I mean, you just kind of fill it up however you want to. I'm just going to make sure that I fill in all of that space. So after I do that, I'm just going to move on. I'm going to do this one on the ring finger and then of course I'm going to do it also on that pointer nail. Now once I have all of these filled in, I'm not going to cure them. I'm going to come in with my clear powder and I'm just going to pour that powder over that uncured gel polish. And I like to be very heavy when I do this. I don't sprinkle just a little bit of that clear over that nail. I pour a whole bunch over that okay i want this to be nice and set into that gel polish and then i also will cure this for two minutes maybe even more if i'm still working on the other hand i will let this just cure as i do so now as you can see that middle finger i went in and i applied a diamond I'm going to be doing a sugar nail on the middle finger and then also on the thumb. But somehow I ended up not getting that footage. But that's what I did. So that is pretty much it for this set, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in another video. Bye.